Here, Noel Gallagher has announced he's quitting the band Oasis. He says he can no longer work with his brother Liam after a series of rows. I think he wants to go and do his own thing, which is fine. But you should have the balls. You shouldn't go around lying saying I intimidated him, his girlfriend or I intimidated his children. You know what I mean? I don't intimidate women and I'd never intimidate a child. And as for his friends, he hasn't got any. So I don't know what he's on about. You know what I mean? Are you guys speaking at the moment? Not really, no. Which is a shame because we're brothers, but... You know, it's a, it's a bit. You know, it's a big thing for me and him splitting up. You know what I mean? And like people can laugh it off and all that tackle, but you know, it's sad when two family members, whether you're in a band or not, don't get on. You know what I mean? You know, it's a bit like WWE wrestling, and he was like the Macho Man Randy Savage. Do you know what I mean? There was a lot of oh yeah and all that gear going on, and it's like fucking hell. You know. <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> no. Where's my brother? No. And one of them is out there. <laughs> the other one is probably at home looking at himself in the mirror. <laughs> well, did it ever get proper, you and it proper oh, like yeah. fisty cut? Yeah, like, yeah, really? Yeah, yeah. Genuinely yeah, like yeah, yeah. having proper fist fights backstage? Yeah, yeah, it was great. Oh, who would win most? <laughs> um, it was pretty even towards the end. I, I did leave on a high, though. <laughs> we don't like each other, man. <laughs> A lot of people think we're waiting around, you know what I mean, for like a few more knots on the end for the thing, but they've already offered us like loads of money, like millions and millions, but not about the money, is it? You know what I mean? You watch each other. So if he was on here, did you watch him on here? No. Oh, so, <laughs> but he watches you. Oh, he's obsessed. <laughs> I think he might be coming on our show in a couple weeks. Oh, really? Would you like me to pass anything along? Um, get a, my, a list of my back catalogue. Okay. If there's anything that he's missing out. As long as he keeps filling out the PRS forms at the end of the show, again, he can lick my <laughs> I don't give a what he does. Do you know if he's heard your album? Because you... I'm sure he has, you know what I mean? Yeah, but, you want sure. him, but you want him to like it. You I, want don't him care, to go... I don't care if he likes it or not. I don't care what he thinks of it. I know for a fact, deep down, he'll be going... I'm not allowed to swear. He'll be, he'll <laughs> no, be, he'll be going, you know, he'll be going, you know... But, you know, he's, as a music lover, you, you know, if it's good, it's good, innit? You can't get away from it, so... And I'm sure, you know, he wants me to be happy, so I get off his case, but it ain't gonna happen. <laughs> Have you spoken to him recently? No, 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 he don't speak to me. We don't speak to each other. Mm. I haven't spoken to him. We'll speak to him someday. So okay. I'm very sad. Didn't catch up with him over Christmas, didn't catch up with him last Christmas, not caught up with him over Christmas for about 15 years. He goes to see me mum, and then we sort of share me mum. I'll have her next Christmas. Since the documentary Supersonic came out, it's reinvigorated a whole new fan base. I mean, sadly, they do all turn up to the gigs dressed as Liam. Um, <laughs> with, like, four, four, with <laughs> four pairs of sunglasses on. and <laughs> I don't know what it is, man, with him at the moment, you know, or whatever. I don't know why we split up, so I'd like to know. So, uh, Hold it, you must have some idea what you spelled. No, was it all I mean, on may him? Maybe I might have been a bit too rock and roll for him and that, and I might have cancelled a few gigs and that, and I might have stayed up later than I should have some nights, but, you know, we're not at in Club 7, that's what you're doing. Yeah. <laughs> Who would you prefer to have as your brother today? Uh, Liam or Boris Johnson? <laughs> I'd say Boris is more entertaining. <laughs> He's making out as if I've stabbed one of his cats or... You know, slap one of his kids or, dare I say it, try it on with his missus, you know what I mean? It's like, it's like, leave it out, mate. It's like we had a little argument, you know what I mean? The problem is that he thinks he's not the problem. So he thinks that I'm both the problems, whereas I'm just a problem. You're half and the he's problem. A, I'm half the problem, yes. whereas I can't be having him thinking that it's just I'm the full problem. Yeah, which is not fair. Yeah, he needs to take on some of the problem. He's, he's shit. You know what I mean? And then the minute he does that, we'll, you know, we'll move on. And we'll but he's incapable of doing that. No, he's, he, yeah, he needs to own his problem. Would you not want to perform again? Because you must miss him on stage sometimes. Um, not particularly, no. It was all wrapped up in, in, in youth and camaraderie yeah. and all that. And once that is gone, you cannot put that genie back in the bottle. And, if, and it would mm -hmm. just be showbiz and it would just be for a mere paltry hundred million pounds, <laughs> frankly. He's been very disingenuous with his beloved Oasis fan base, you know, that put him where he is today. He's been very disingenuous with them, you know, all my bags packed and all that. He has no intention of reforming the band. Right. And he should just front up, be a man, and move on and do things for the rest of his life. So I'm going to dedicate this next tune to my little brother, who's still, uh, uh, who's still playing hard to get. But that's all right. But word on the street is he was spotted in a really posh 
chocolate shop, one of them Fortins, buying some chocolates. So you never know. You know what I mean? Half the world away.